All right, dear students. Today we are going to cover depreciation method, and that is known as revaluation method. Now, basically, there are three methods in a syllabus. One is straight line that we have already studied. Secondly, we have RBM reducing balance method, also known as diminishing balance method. And lastly, we have a revaluation method. So, revaluation method is basically used on assets. Uh, that are very low in value. So sometimes uh, we use it on tools. Okay, uh, loose tools. The examiner says loose tools. Maybe the screwdriver or some other tools, uh, hammer and the such uh, uh, other uh, tools that are being used in a garage. Maybe uh, repairing cars or repairing machineries. So any uh, type of tools that are used to repair uh, any asset is known as uh, uh, tools. So in this tools uh, we use revaluation method. Uh, but uh, other than tools, we can use uh, this revaluation method some other types of assets as well, such as uh, maybe crockery. Uh, whenever we go to any restaurant, uh, we have crockery uh, plates and we have cutlery, uh, knife and fork and spoon and all these utensils. So these are, are the things that we are going to chart depreciation using revaluation method. Or maybe uh, you are working in some science lab, uh, chemistry or physics lab. We have beaker and we have tubes and we have all of the stuff, uh, lab, laboratory uh, stuff. So we use the revaluation method on that as well. So in a revaluation method, let's start this exercise. Akram Garage started its operations on 1st January 2014. It's the start of the year. And we need to calculate depreciation for three years, that is 15, 16, and 17 using revaluation method. Now, you must remember one thing whenever uh, there is a, a revaluation method or whenever the examiner doesn't mention the depreciation method in a question, so we are always going to apply revaluation method unless uh, it says it's a straight line or it's a depreciation on cost, then uh, we can also use straight line. But if the examiner is silent about the method of depreciation, we are always going to apply revaluation method. Okay. So revaluation method, there is a simple formula, and the formula is opening, then plus addition, then minus disposal, and then minus closing. Okay. So this is the formula. So to my students, I tell uh, them the mnemonic uh, O plus A minus D minus C. Okay. O and A level from uh, defense campus. Okay. O and A, the, uh, the campus that I teach is a Daraksha campus, and uh, some students don't understand this, especially my online students. So I tell them defense campus. O and A level from defense campus, opening plus addition minus disposal minus closing. So opening is basically uh, the value. In this revaluation method, we always use the value. So we need to find uh, the opening value must have been given by the examiner. Uh, opening value of the assets, that, that, that is the value of the assets at the start of the year. Then we need to add any asset that we have bought this year. Therefore, it's an addition. Then we need to subtract any asset that because we have sold this asset. And then we need to subtract the closing value of the asset. Okay? O plus A minus D minus C, O and A level from the Raksha campus or defense campus, whatever it is. So we are going to start depreciation the first year, that is 2015. As you can see, Akram has uh, just started the business, so therefore do not have any asset at the start of the year because it's the first year of the business. Okay, we do not have any tools at the start of the year plus addition. Now, as you can see, we have bought new tools costing 50,000 from ARD Limited. So therefore, addition would be 50,000 because we have bought some new assets. Then we have disposal. So let us see, have we sold any asset in the first year, that is 2015. Uh, at 31st December 2015, there, that is the end of the year, tools are valued at 45. So this is the value that is closing. We do not have any uh, asset that we have sold this year. If instead we have sold any assets during this year, so what we need to do, we need to minus the value of the asset that we have disposed of and not the original cost. Okay. In a straight line method, we always deduct the original cost, but in a valuation method, we always deduct the value in hand that we have for the asset that we have sold. So we'll be discussing in the later part. Then closing value. Now, as you can see, at end of the year, we have tools worth 45,000 only. So 
So it's very simple. Uh, you, we have bought a, maybe a mobile phone for 50,000, a Samsung phone at the start of the year or this year. At the end of the year, uh, this phone has only worth left of 45,000. So therefore, 5,000 worth of the phone has been depreciated. So the, the difference between the two values is 5,000. Okay. So next year is 2016. Now, as you may be aware that the closing value of the first year would become opening value at the second year. Okay, this would become opening value that is 45,000. Now we need to see have we uh, bought any new assets in the second year. And on 4th February 2016, we have bought new tools costing 75,000. So this is the addition. We have bought new tools. Uh, no matter we, if we have bought through cash or through check or on credit, doesn't make any difference in the calculation for depreciation. Then disposal. Uh, some of the old tools that were originally bought in 2015 for how much? For 10,000. This is the original cost and we sold it for 6,000. So this means uh, original cost is never considered in revaluation method. We will consider its value or if the value is not given then we will assume uh, that the value was 6,000 because this is the amount that we fetched when we sold this asset. Okay. So this was basically the value. So then we are going to deduct 6,000. Now at the end of the year, as you can see, all of the tools remaining that have combined value of 87,000. So we need to deduct 87,000. Uh, we need to add both of these and we need to deduct both of these and the value that it, uh, we are left with is 27,000 and it is the depreciation for the second year. Now this balance CD would become balance brought down again in the third year. Now let us see what happened in the third year. In the third year on 15 March, that is 2017, one of the tool uh, which had original cost of 5000, we would never consider original cost in a revaluation method with a value of 4000 and then we sold it for how much? We sold it for 3000. Okay. So if the value is already also given and the amount of this, uh, uh, the amount that we have received on the disposal is, is also given, we will always uh, uh, recommend uh, using value okay because it's a valuation method we will always choose value if the value is given uh, but if the value uh, was not given such a, as was the case in 2016 then we can take the disposal proceeds okay so in 2016 we are assuming uh, the asset that we have sold had a value of 6000 because they were sold in 6000 but in 2017 as you can see we are being given the value and we are also being given the actual amount that we have received. So we are always, uh, we would prefer value if it's given and if the value is not given, then we can take the disposal proceeds. Okay. And just remember, we never use original cost here. So we need to deduct 4,000. And as you can see in the last year, we haven't bought any new assets. We have just disposed of some old ones. At the end of the year, the combined value of all the remaining assets was 70,000. So what we need to do, we need to add uh, both of these, actually it's zero. So 87,000 minus four minus 70. So 87 minus 74, this becomes 13,000. So this is basically depreciation using revaluation method. Now let us uh, quickly do one more exercise so that you make sure that you understand this revaluation method. We have another exercise with the name of Kolachi restaurant. So again, uh, the method, uh, the formula always remains the same for revaluation method, and that is opening plus addition minus disposal minus closing. You can remember uh, this by O and A level from Defense Campus. Okay. So uh, in 2016, let us uh, let me read the exercise for you. That is question number three. Kolachi restaurant. It's a very good restaurant, fine dining restaurant. They are based in Karachi, Pakistan. Uh, at Dodaria, it's very famous. Kolachi restaurant started its operations on 1st January 2016. Okay, so we need to calculate depreciation for three years that is 16, 17, and 18. So, as you may be aware, that it is the first year for a restaurant, so we have just opened a restaurant and we are just doing the calculation. Okay. So at the start of the year, because we have just started the set, we do not have any crockery. But on 8th of January, when we, are, we were setting up the restaurant, we have bought a new crockery costing 10,000 from Crockery Limited. Okay. 
and at the end of the year the plates uh, all of the crockery means uh, the valued was uh, 8500 okay so first year we need to calculate depreciation now we have just started the restaurant we are just starting or setting it up we do not have any crockery at the start of the uh, year then we have bought new crockery that it is worth 10000 we haven't sold any new crockery because it's all of uh, it, it is new so we do not need to sell any used stuff uh, we we haven't used it enough longer enough to sell it and the end of the year we have crockery worth 8500 okay so anything that we have bought for 10000 and the value is left as 8500 so the difference between the two values is 1500 so it's a depreciation now the closing value of the first year balance cd 8500 would becomes balance brought down opening value at the start of next year okay so in the second year as you can see we have bought new glasses maybe uh, for drinking uh, pepsi or stuff so we have bought glasses 7500 so this is basically the addition 7500 and we have sold some of the assets some old glasses that were originally bought in 16 for 1000 with a value of 900 was sold for 1100 now, as you can see there are three different values are given one is the original cost the secondly we have a value and thirdly we have disposal proceeds now one must remember uh, we never use the original cost in a revaluation method question okay now we are left with two amounts that is the value 900 or the proceeds of disposal the actual amount received that is 1100 so we always use the value it's given and if the value was not given, then we can take the disposal proceeds, okay, in the last result. So we are going to deduct the value, and at the end of the year, all of the crockery that is remaining is 13,500 watt, okay. So we need to add both of these, opening plus addition, and we need to subtract both of these, and then we are left with depreciation that is 1600. So the closing value at the second year would become opening value at the start of the third year. Now, have we bought any new crockery in the last year? One of the jug that costed 500 in 2016 with a value of 400 was sold for 300. Now we haven't bought any new one, we have just sold. So again, if the value is given, we always prefer value and a valuation method, we never use the original cost. Okay. And if the value 400 was not given, then we can take 300 in disposal. This is the amount that we have received on the disposal. Okay. At the end of the year, we have left with a crockery worth 11,000. Okay, so we had 13,500 worth of crockery, and out of that, we have sold 400 worth of crockery. Then we are left with 13,100, but actually, the value of that is 11,000. So, the amount that is missing this means this amount has already been depreciated during the year. So, I hope, my dear students, you are able to understand depreciation calculation.